So I painted the boat uh, mostly yesterday, a little bit actually over the past two days. And I just want to do a quick video on kind of some of the products I used and uh, how I did it. So here's kind of how it looks painted right now. Um, that's the exterior. I did paint some of the interior by only painting the parts that really needed it that would be exposed. But the first thing I did for the paint of the boat itself is I just got this uh, this rust tough paint. I kind of like the blue color, so that's the one I chose. Um, very simple spray paint. And what I did is I pretty much just sprayed the whole um, boat, all the areas I wanted to paint, just sprayed them up. Um, I prepped them a little bit by wiping them down with acetone, but I didn't really sand the whole boat or do anything like that. I wasn't too worried about it. I can always touch it up if I need to. But the one I was concerned about was this right here. So I want to protect the hull. And the products I use for that is this Wetlander right here. And it comes in two parts. It comes in this and it comes in this. This is basically the color. And what happens is you mix them. So what I did is I just grabbed a bucket like this one and I mixed um, half of this and half of this together. That would be my first coat. And then I did the second half uh, for my second coat and tend to work out pretty good. I noticed one thing though is on the first coat, it kind of like looks like it bubbles up a little bit. And it looks weird, doesn't really, really protect it, but then when you do the second coat, it tends to work out well. And their documentation does say that. Uh, also, um, I have these uh, brushes. So what I did for the, um, the boat, because I did prep this out, and they, they said, well, sand it down with 150 grade sandpaper. And I thought, well, that's taking too long. So I actually got this little wire brush here. I tied, uh, put that on my drill, and I did this whole boat. I had it prepped with the acetone um in a half an hour so i basically just scuffed everything up with this did a really really good job and then i ended up um using the uh the acetone to finish it off and uh i really like it so this is a hall protector and you kind of see i'll try to get on these rivets here and you see how it really coats those rivets in so if the rivets are getting loose or anything like that um it's going to kind of help seal them up and kind of keep them in place i'm not planning on dragging this boat across dirt or anything like that this will pretty much be just launched off of you know uh, the boat access areas but um, I wanted to protect this hull and I ran it uh, three inches over the edge here and one thing um, to note about that is and they say this in their instructions if you're going to be doing that make sure to remove the tape that you use to make your line so I had a little bit of tape going across here painting tape uh, they say make sure to remove that within the first hour of curing okay so Otherwise, I think what happens is this stuff's pretty tough and it will, it will probably keep that tape from even coming off. So that's kind of how I did it. Just followed the directions of the products and I'm, so far I'm happy with it. We'll, we'll see how it holds up over time. Hey, I want to do one uh, little additional uh, tip here. Um, in another video I saw where someone's doing a John boat, they asked, how do they get the MC numbers off the boat? I'll tell you right now, this little wheel right here will make short work of those MC numbers in literally a couple of minutes. You know, I had two MC numbers on this boat. I re-registered it and they were old and I just wanted to, you know, obviously with painting, I want to get them off. So I used this and I tell you what, they were gone in, in minutes. So it worked out really well.